Hey Quirk, Matt here, and here's my industrial design pitch for the Broom Groomer. To be clear, we're not doing a handheld version. They have plenty of these on the market with their own little broom grooming section right here where you pull off the dust bunnies just by sliding it through. There's several on the market. We could also go for a broom grooming dustpan with a pole, but I saw this one at Bed Bath & Beyond last week. Note the broom grooming and the pole. What I also don't like about the pole version, which is waist high, it requires one hand and it's usually paired with a broom that's waist high, also used for the other hand, the single hand. And I don't know about you guys, but I sure don't like sleeping with one arm. It's not as comfortable and as efficient as two arms. So my idea is designed to be used hands-free, meaning it can be moved around the room hands-free. So here's my rough prototype. Here's a foot brace, has a hole to hang up, a gap right here for your typical storage with the broom. Here the broom grooming ends, like the image I showed you earlier. Now also notice this slight bend. I'm thinking this one piece it would be a piece of plastic with a bend in it that's pliable. Now because of this bend, when you put this version on the floor, it only comes into contact with this edge here and the back. But it flattens up when you put your foot on the foot brace at the end, so the whole thing flattens. Then you sweep dirt onto it, move the foot, and move it back an inch and sweep more dirt on and then do it again and then hold the foot brace down and you pull the broom through the groomers. Part of what the idea of this bend is then is when it pops back up there will be a slope so the dirt slides back a little bit so it doesn't spill out. The bend and the foot brace combination when you press down it also ensures that there's a very tight seal along the front edge of the dustpan. Now when you're done sweeping one area and using the dustpan you move the dustpan to the other part of the room by using the broom itself. And you sweep the other area. Now remember, because of the bend that's built in, when you're not stepping on the dustpan, there's less contact with the floor, so it should be easier to slide around the floor. Now also, because of the bend when it's on the floor, it should be easy to, to grab underneath it to pick it up. You can also figure something out here to grab it and easy to pick up. And you just tap it so it catches all the dirt in the bottom. Now if there's a hole right at the end, you can go right over to your trash can and dump everything in. Here's some final considerations. Now because the broom's being used to move this around, when the broom's here, it's easy to move it that way across the floor. But if you wanted to go to the right, it needs to catch on something. So if there's a big drop-off or an indentation here that would serve two functions. One, it keeps the dirt in this area instead of spilling out. And second, the broom could catch and have something to catch onto so you can move it around the floor that way. The other concern is that if you're moving around fast, some tripetal force or centrifugal force, I don't know which one it is, could send the dirt out that hole. So that means there needs to be a little kill or something right here so the dirt won't naturally go through unless you tap it and it falls out over that way. And finally, broom widths are a varying length, so to accommodate most of them, you probably want to make this long. Maybe a little bit longer than this, because I have a broom that's actually too big. Jesus. And finally, I think trial and error will help us determine, as far as the broom grooming times, what length, how far apart, what material, what shape, etc., to minimize actually catching the crap in it so you have to pull it out anyway. But that may be inevitable. Who knows? All right. Well, hope you like my pitch.